Hey guys, what is up? Connor here, and this is episode 7 of How to Code on Minecraft Client. And now this episode, we are going to be covering the Opacity X-Ray. So, go down to your X-Ray class that we made earlier. We're going to make a few additions. So first off, we're going to add a new array list. That will, it's an array list, and it's going to contain the X-Ray blocks that we want to have rendered. So public um, array list. And this array list will be able to contain any block and it'll be called x-ray blocks and it's a new instance of an array list that can contain any block so import array list and block and it's net.minecraft.block.block and boom now we're gonna add a boolean that determines whether or not a um block is an x-ray block or not so public boolean is x-ray block and there's going to be one parameter, and that's going to be the block that we're going to check. So I'll call it block to check. And now we're just going to say if this dot x-ray blocks dot contains um block to check. So if our um x-ray blocks array list contains this block that we're checking, then it is an x-ray block because it's in the x-ray blocks array list, so it'll return true. And then obviously, if it doesn't even get to that, it'll just return false because it's clearly not an x-ray block. So with that, we're done in here for now. Um, now what we're gonna do is go to block.java and I'm gonna show you how to do an opacity x-ray, but this one is gonna be kind of cool because You'll still be able to see the ores through blocks, but you'll be able to see through the ores. So it'll make it so that you can, it still works kind of as a see through thing, but you can still find ores much easier. It's basically the same level. It's not any more difficult or any more um, easy to find ores. So what we're going to do is first off, get rid of this because we don't, we want blocks to be rendered. We're just going to make them, like, we're going to set the opacity down lower. So we're not going to not render them whatsoever so we need to get rid of that now what we're gonna do is rather than just have it render coal we're gonna say um if this or I'm sorry if x-ray dot um or actually we have to type all that mumbo jumbo my bad so if client dot the client dot module module manager dot x-ray module dot um is x-ray block this then return true so meaning if this block is an x-ray block then it'll return true and render the side no matter what now we're going to go up to um render as a normal block as a matter of fact and keep looking and you'll see public boolean render as normal block return true so what we're going to do is add a to do and it's actually going to return um the opposite of um if the mod is enabled or not but i i honestly i don't feel like typing all that um, mumbo jumbo out anymore so we're gonna make a new class and it's going to be under a new package so it's a new class and it's going to be under the package tutorial dot utils and we're gonna call it x-ray utils this will come in handy in the future but for now I'm just gonna use it for two things one public static int x-ray opacity and that is going to be equal to 110 and then public static boolean is x-ray so once we have all that we're going to go to the x-ray.java class and hook up this is x-ray method because the is x-ray method it's going to tell us if the x-ray mod is enabled or not but it's going to do it where we don't have to type out all a bunch of stuff. So basically what we're going to say is on the enable of the mod, then um, x-ray utils dot is x-ray equals true. And make sure you do this at the very top because bad things will happen if you don't. And false. And if you're wondering why, it'll load the renders and set the x-ray effects to true. And then what will happen is basically the renders will reload, and then after that, the x-ray things will take effect, so it'll get all glitchy. And the same here, if, it, if the x-ray um, is set to false after the renders have been loaded, the x-ray will be on even after you disable it. 
So with that, we can save and get out of here. We don't really need to be in there anymore. So now we can just return the opposite of x-ray utils dot is x-ray, meaning basically what it's going to say is if x-ray is on, then it will not render things as normal blocks because they're going to be all weird. And if x-ray is off, then it will render things as normal blocks because it's normal Minecraft. Now there's one more thing that we're going to be um, doing in here, and that is get render block pass. And it'll just say return zero. Well, add it to do first. And what we're going to do is basically say um, x-ray utils dot is x-ray. And we're checking that. And if it is on, then it'll return one. If not, then zero. Meaning, um, we're going to have some blocks that are not solid when it's off or on, and blocks that are solid when it's off. And this is actually the key factor in making the, this x-ray that I've been telling you guys about. It lets you see through the ores or whatever blocks you have on your x-ray. So it looks really cool. Now, if you want it to, um, to be solid like the blocks on your x-ray to be completely solid, what's not be able to see through them, and what you can do is basically check to see if the block is an x-ray block if it's enabled. And if it is an x-ray block, then it will be 0, and if not, it'll be 1. But you'll have to check that after you check to see if it's enabled. So it's a little bit more complicated. But if you want me to show you guys how to do that, just put it in the comments below, and I'll explain it to you guys in the comments. So now we're done in block.java. We're all done here. Now we just have to go to tessellator.java under net.minecraft.client.renderer. And once you find that, we are going to look for set color opaque. And you'll see set color opaque underscore f, hit it again, you'll see this dot set color opaque, hit it again, and then you'll see the actual method itself. Now you're going to go to the 255 area, and basically what we're going to do is check to see if x-ray is enabled. So x-ray utils dot is x-ray. And if x-ray is on, then we're going to set the opacity to x-ray utils dot x-ray opacity. And if not, then it'll just be the regular 255. We're going to add the to do here. And we're all done. So we have to first, before we can actually use x-ray, we have to add some blocks. So we're going to go back to the x-ray module. And once you've reached there, we're going to go on the enable. Before anything else, we are going to add iron and coal. So x or this dot x-ray blocks dot add block dot get on um, block by id and we'll do 16 and we'll just copy this and then do 15 so this is how you're going to do it you just put the id right here basically it's getting the block based on the block id so this is actually a block that it's getting not like an id so it's just going to get the it'll return the x-ray or the block coal or whatever it's called right here so that's how you add blocks now we can start our mod or our client up and see how this looks next episode is going to be a kill aura um let me know let me know if you guys would rather have a um more adjustable kill aura or a pretty simple kill aura just let me know um now just start up the game of course and see how it looks as you can see it works, but the blocks are kind of dark. And you probably see what I was talking about, how they're somewhat see-through. Well, they're still dark, and that's kind of a problem. So the way that we're going to fix that is going to our brightness class. And rather than check only if brightness is toggled, we're going to see also if um, x-ray is toggled. So that little two lines right there, that means or. So basically, if brightness is toggled or if x-ray is toggled, then it'll do this. So that allows it to be where brightness, I mean, if you have x-ray on and you turn brightness on, it won't really do anything, but that's fine, because all x-rays work like this anyway. And this should fix a problem that we were, were having before, and we should be able to see all blocks great now. And let's try it out. Yep, see, we can see all blocks great, and it's an x-ray, and it's opacity. And a lot of you guys probably were trying to do something else, but it's as simple as this, guys, let's be honest. 
There's no need to do anything other than this. And you can see all ores great. And then when you come down to them, you can still see through them, so it works like a, you can still see things through the block. As you can see, I found the coal okay, but I can see through it to other coal blocks or whatever I want to do. And you can st you can pick out stuff great, and you can still see through things. So this was how to make a Minecraft client X-ray. I hope this was of some use to you guys, and thank you very much for all your support. Let's try to get this video to 500 views. That would make me happy. And leave a like, it lets me know that you're there and you are enjoying my content. Once again, thank you very much, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.